Hello, this is Rachel here with the Shades of Orange. Today I want to do a long overdue video and that is my recommendations for some of my favorite horror novels. I did a video like this a little ways back, but since then I've read so much more horror and I really want to talk about some of my favorites. I'm always talking about horror in all my reading wrap ups, but not every book I read is necessarily a four or five star one, but these are some that I personally have really strong recommendations for. All that being said, let's get started. First, I want to talk about Beneath by Christy Demeester, and this story follows an investigative journalist who is tasked to go to a small town and investigate a snake handling church. She is really reluctant to go because as a child, she was abused by a pastor and has not set foot in a church since. However, she eventually agrees and goes to this town. It's also told from the perspective of a young girl who is just about to begin her first snake handling experience when something goes terribly wrong and she is bitten by a snake. It's also told from the perspective of the pastor of this town who has lustful thoughts for this young girl. Given the synopsis, you can expect that this has some serious trigger warnings. It's not for everyone. This book deals with some really nasty, uncomfortable topics, which is one of the reasons I love it so much. I love an author that isn't afraid to go there and delve into these dark issues. I also love Christy Demeester's writing. I've described it as dark and delicious. And anyone who enjoys cutthroat female writing will love this one. I will go so far as to dangerously compare her to Gillian Flynn because they both write just really dark female narratives. And I love the fact that she addresses themes of motherhood and female sexuality. There is so much I love about this book. And even if you are just looking for a creepy book about some snakes, this has that as well. It was creepy and dark and I just cannot gush about this one enough. I would love to see everyone else on booktube check it out. So I highly, highly recommend that one. Next, I wanna recommend Horns by Joe Hill and this follows a young man named Ig whose girlfriend was mysteriously murdered. While he was never convicted, the town strongly suspects that he is responsible for that murder. Now, one day he wakes up after a night of partying to find that he is now growing horns on his head. And with these horns comes a strange ability to hear people's dark and impure thoughts. This is probably my favorite Joe Hill novel and I feel like it doesn't get enough attention or love online. I personally find it darkly humorous and I just connect with it a lot. It has a lot of dark themes of demons and the devil and hell and I really enjoyed the ability to hear people's impure thoughts, getting to hear their lustful or crazy ideas, and I just found it to be really funny. It felt very voyeuristic, and if you enjoy those same kind of ideas, you will really love this book. It definitely has some supernatural or fantastical elements, but if you are okay with some dark fantasy, then this is a great horror novel to pick up. So I highly recommend my personal favorite from Joe Hill. Next, I wanna talk about The Nightmare Room by Chris Sorensen. And this story follows a man who moves back to his hometown with his wife. They end up renting an old decrepit farmhouse at the outskirts of town. The man is an audiobook narrator, so he ends up setting up the basement as his studio. But of course, this house is possibly haunted, so creepy things start to happen. Because of the audiobook narration, there is an audio aspect to this book that was just really creepy. I've heard really good things about this book on audio, although I read the physical copy, but I just love this book. I personally think this is my favorite haunted house story because it wasn't just about a creepy old house, but was more so about the characters. I felt they were very well fleshed out. And this book has a lot of emotional depth to it because the couple is also dealing with the recent death of their son. I was just pulled into the story. I loved it. I love where it went. And I just think this is one of the best places to start for anyone looking to get into the classic subgenre of haunted houses. I love this one and would definitely love to see more people read it as well. Next, I want to recommend The Troop by Nick Cutter. This follows a group of Boy Scouts who go out to the Canadian wilderness with their scoutmaster. When they come across a man who is voraciously hungry, they try to help him out, but things quickly go wrong and what transpires is a fight for survival. 
This is an excellent example of survival horror and I personally loved it. This is very gruesome and has a lot of body horror, which is something I personally enjoy, but do need to give a warning for anyone who's not okay with that. It definitely had some stomach churning moments. At the core of the story, it's really about the breakdown of this Boy Scout group and the fact that you get to see the boys deciding whether or not to protect each other or when it becomes a bit more of a free-for-all as they put their own lives above each other. And I just think it has a lot of good character depth and you really get to see how people might react in these scenarios. It definitely had some strong Lord of the Flies vibes. So if you enjoyed those kind of stories, I would definitely recommend this one if you haven't read it yet. And finally, I want to recommend The Summer is Ended and We Are Not Yet Saved by Joey Camo. This is a story of a mother and son. The mother gets an opportunity to work as a makeup artist on a horror movie set, but in order to do that, she needs a place to leave her son over the summer, so she makes arrangements to send him to Bible camp. At first, he is excited to go, but once he's there, he quickly realizes that there is a killer in their midst and it becomes a struggle for survival. This is a fantastic example of slasher horror and it is just so intelligently done. I think that anyone who enjoys the classic tropes of the genre will get a lot out of this book. It also has some great character aspects to it. I love the mother-son relationship. The mother has some serious Lorelai Gilmore vibes as well. I really like the fact that you get to delve into the world of makeup artistry. The mom describes scenes where she is ripping the eyeballs out of toy dolls in order to make things for the movie set. And I think anyone who enjoys slasher movies will really enjoy those aspects. It was just smart and funny. The characters are quite young so I need to give a warning that this book is very gruesome and dark in places. I often describe slashers as fun but at the same time this one does have a lot of emotional depth and does get pretty dark and depressing and harrowing in places so warning for that. But if you want a really smart version of a slasher this is one you absolutely have to pick up. I highly, highly recommend it. So that's it for this video. As you can probably guess, I highly recommend that you check out all five of those books. So I'd love to know down below if you've already read them or which one you are planning on picking up now. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.